Hey, how are you? Sorry I've been so bad at replying. I don't know why it's so hard for me to do the simplest tasks sometimes. I've always been an anxious person that hasn't changed and I doubt it ever will. People often say to live each day as if it's your last. Well, I think I take that too literally. <laughs> Every day feels like the end of the world for me. Okay, maybe that was a bit dramatic. <laughs> but honestly, I do have a really anxious disposition. That has definitely had an effect on studying and just my enjoyment of studying in the past. But I've learned some tips that have helped me stay consistent and not get overwhelmed and just enjoy the process. The first thing that I think it's helpful to take note of is when you're most anxious. For some people, it's at the start of the day. For others, it's at the very end of the day. For some, it's during the middle. For me, I think I get the most anxious at the very start of the day. I wake up, my thoughts, my mind is racing. I can't quiet it. And I've noticed for me, it helps to start things off with activities that slow my mind because I wake up feeling like time is running out and I need to convince myself that I do have enough time. And in order to do that, I think I just need to breathe. So yoga really helps me with that or just some form of activity that takes me outside of my mind. It forces me to not focus on my thoughts because when you're doing something physical, it's very hard for you to also keep track of all of your anxieties or at least for me and also reading. Reading can be a form of escapism and it does help me slow down my thoughts. Some people work well under pressure, under stress. I am not one of those people. When I get overwhelmed, I forget and I just stop, I freeze. And so it's important for me, even when intaking new information, to be calm. And so it helps me to start off my day with calm activities. There are three things that I would like to get done today. First of all, finish a set of 40 questions on the cardiovascular system. The second one is to finish reviewing a practice test that I took two weeks ago. And the last thing I wanna do is finish watching all of the videos on ethics from Dirty Medicine, which is a YouTube channel that I really like. If I ever need a break, there's one of two things that I do, and it's either take a square breath. Square breathing, also known as box breathing, is something that I've learned recently in yoga, and it's helped me calm down quite a few times, and so I figured we can do it together. To prepare, exhale all of the air out. Inhale for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. And repeat. Or start doing push ups. And I mean, like, when I need a break in the middle of a study session. So for example, I notice when my focus goes away is usually when I keep reading the same sentence over and over and I can't make sense of it. more questions to go.
yesterday, unfortunately, I didn't finish my practice exam review. I did study for around seven and a half hours, and I think I could have done more, but I was just getting really tired, and I ended up going to sleep at like nine. I had to be okay with what I had done. I was freaking out and a bit disappointed in myself, but at the end of the day, doing something is better than doing nothing. I'll just start fresh today. So today was one of those days where I woke up feeling really anxious. I tried to calm myself down with some yoga and some reading. It didn't work. And so I started studying regardless. But as I was studying and I'm reading these explanations, the explanations just wouldn't get through. And it's not because the concepts were too difficult for me to understand. It was a problem with me. I was just feeling too jittery and incompetent, I guess. So I just stopped. I took a couple minutes to think about what the issue is. Like I'm clearly feeling wrong and the things that usually help calm me down are not working. So there must be a problem. And I thought back to when I first started feeling like this and it's because yesterday towards the evening, I did a block of questions on the nervous system and they didn't go well. <laughs> the problem wasn't that there was concepts I didn't know. The problem was that there were concepts that I did know that I still got wrong. And so I just felt really stupid, I guess. Uh, since I've identified that issue, I'm dedicating today to understanding where I went wrong. So I'll be watching a couple lectures and I'll also be doing another set of questions and just seeing whether or not it was a fluke. Maybe there's a problem with the way that I'm taking the exam. I'm not reading the questions properly. I do have a problem with time management and I think that causes me to overlook certain facts in the question stems very often. And so these are issues, tangible problems that I can tackle. But when I woke up, I didn't really know what was wrong and I didn't take the time to think about why I was feeling incompetent or why I was feeling like I'm not good enough. I just took that feeling and it amplified. But sitting down and thinking it through, even though I still haven't done anything, I feel better because I know the issue and I know that there are options for me to tackle it. Sometimes you just need to give yourself a few minutes to breathe and think rather than push through. But with that being said, there are times where you just kind of need to push through those bad feelings. But today I tried that and it obviously didn't work. There are a couple more tips that I'd like to mention that I feel like are worth mentioning. The first one might sound pretty simple, but I've definitely neglected it in the past, and it's to take care of your physical needs. What I mean by that is exercise, eat food, um, or don't overeat, and make sure you're getting enough sleep. It's not worth it to sacrifice sleep for more study time. When your physical needs aren't being met, that will exacerbate your anxiety. 
And so really take care of yourself, even if you feel like it's a waste of time. I've definitely felt like it's a waste of time in the past and I've suffered the consequences. And so I'm gonna tell you, don't be like me <laughs> and take care of yourself. And another thing that kind of ties in with that is to not be afraid to ask for support. When you're feeling overwhelmed, go to people, go to your friends and family if they're available. Me personally, I struggle with this, but I'm trying to be better at it. Sometimes you just need to be heard. It's not necessarily the advice that would help. It's just feeling like someone's there and they're acknowledging that you're going through a hard time. And sometimes vocalizing your thoughts can make your anxieties feel a bit smaller, or at least it has helped me in the past. If you don't feel comfortable going to your friends or family, then I would love to be that safe space for you. I know what it's like to keep everything inside and it does build up and just make the issues 10 times worse. And so if you feel like you don't have anyone, then feel free to reach out to me. I would love to support you in any way that I can. Cause I do know how heavy and suffocating these thoughts can be. So if I have the chance to lessen that for you, then I would love to.